Wow. Well, welcome, welcome. There's a lot of news this week. I don't know if you've heard about what's going on with Congress and their infinite wisdom. Not only do they want to pass $1.9 trillion infrastructure bill, but they want to pass alongside that a $3.5 trillion bill. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of this in the in terms of seconds, but just what if you took a million dollars and divided it into a number of seconds, and then you took a billion dollars and divided that into a number of actually, it's not even seconds, it's days. And how many days would that be? I'll let you do that calculation next week. I'll give you the answer, but it's so much fun to really compare because in your mind, you're hearing a B, you're hearing an M, you're hearing a B, you're hearing a T and your mind cannot fathom how much money that is. But let me tell you something, for people that are in real estate, we know exactly what that means. That means appreciation that real estate is going to go up. And interestingly, I saw a whole presentation last week that gave me comfort in the fact that when you look at what real estate costs now, the average cost of a home, and this can be divided into markets, so particular markets, compared to overall inflation, like how many barrels of oil did it cost back in 1970 to buy a home? How many barrels of oil does it cost today to buy a home? How many uh, gallons of orange juice did it cost in 1970 versus today? How many bars of gold did it cost to buy a house in 1970 versus today? Well, what's interesting is that housing, and this is going to surprise you, you're probably not going to believe me, but housing is actually extremely affordable these days compared to what it used to cost. So my friend Jason Hartman has some great information on this. You got to check him out. And he is just, he is a scientist. He gets into all the numbers. He breaks it down by market and it's such good stuff. But I'll tell you, it's something to take a look at because when we see the numbers of today, we reflect on the past. We think these numbers are too high, but the truth is they're not all that bad taken into consideration the inflation on all the other goods and services that all of us use. So that's a little bit of news for the week and hopefully giving you some inspiration to go out there and buy some real estate right now, because, hey, the numbers just aren't that bad. Oh.